seven new subscribers. Yes. Guys, the special guest arrived. It's time for an upgrade. Love you. Guys, the special guest arrived. Hey, hey. it's Princeton. <laughs> We're finna have a productive ass admin day and chit chat and hang out and do business things. I'm right. so excited. Here you so we just arrived and we're gonna go to the office. See you in a second. All right, y'all, I came to the office. We had a little chit chat, catch up sesh, and I did my makeup. Um, it is lunchtime, so we're gonna go eat and then come back and do some filming, some admin work, and some other stuff. So for now, we're going to lunch at Dave's Hot Chicken. Oh, that is cute. I like the blur in the background. I need a new phone. It's time for an upgrade. <laughs> this way. We're eating at Zave's Hot Chicken Guys in Princeton. Filming me for something secret. <laughs> Stay tuned. I started the process of Neptune, I didn't have any expectations of what the album should or would sound like. I just knew that I wanted to evolve from the headspace of Beautiful Coward. Sorry about that. My bad. That's okay. Uh -huh. All these fans use a product of us what is that? Do you think I should also double that? I don't have a favorite. I have no skips. It's the entire project, so. I mean, yes, you can have favorites. I guess I, I, I grew the most to like confetti, you know? But all of them are my bops. All of them are my favorites. There, there, there's no skips, just like the last project. So that's why. I didn't need to be signed to a label. I didn't need someone helping me tell my story. And I sure didn't want to be influenced by someone else's standard. When you're balancing love, heartbreak, trauma, family, friends, work, politics, a pandemic, health, and the space you're sharing with the rest of the world, it can be extremely loud and terrifying. I told myself, if I'm willing to keep pushing my pain and my stories, I gotta be honest and transparent. I was like, man, I hope that it comes with pickles and it takes. You can't not have pickles. But you know what you need to do though. Mm. You gotta do, oh, did he give you a honey? Mm. He didn't give me a Dave's. Did he give you an extra Dave's? Yes. Definitely this is. Oh, you got cheese fries. But the thing is, you, you zigzag the honey and zigzag this. Oh my God, the combo together on the Dave's Hot Chicken is so good. I can't stop saying that. <laughs> I'm trying to say it like the people who have fucking secret ass R's in their language. This is thick. I was like, why is this so thick? Don't worry about the cameras. I wonder, me telling him that that front door is dirty as fuck, I wonder if he's gonna actually clean. He was like, oh, it's probably from last night. <laughs> Bro, clean that motherfucking door. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wash your hands just walking in that bitch. It's really bad. Did I do that? They already kind of put a lot of OG sauce on it. Isn't it hitting? Hitting. I call it OG sauce. Whoopsie. <laughs> it's not OG sauce. I'm used to this other restaurant now. Extra pickles. I can't believe you got the hot. This not that bad. Are you guys doing a YouTube video? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that popping yet though. <laughs> Trying to be. Give me your, give me your. It's A-M-O-R-E. Okay. What's a YouTube video? Um, this one is just a regular vlog. We're doing like an office day, but it's lunchtime, so. 
But um, Amore Love. A M O R E L O V E. E. And then L O V E. And then Vlogs. I have two channels. One is a beauty channel, which you probably wouldn't want to see, but the vlog one is my vlogging channel. Okay. <laughs> so, more love. Is there any space for Um, yeah, it's, a, it's spaces. A more love vlogs. You could type in like whatever okay. to find it. Hey, yo. I got a new subscriber. Yes. <laughs> I love that. That was a real hot picture. <laughs> I love how little kids love YouTubers. They're like, ah, are you a YouTuber? Subscribe, Ava. That was real as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't that was wait. not a paid actor. I, <laughs> I can't wait till they come up to me and be like, oh my God, I'm more. Can I get a picture with you, please? That was funny. I definitely. Yeah. Yes. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Last time. This, um, this person in Trader Joe's too, they were like, how's everything? I'm like, good. I'm just vlogging today. They were like, what? You do a YouTube channel? And now every time I go in there, he's like, how's the YouTube channel? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what? That's tight. You remember. Yes. <laughs> mm. I'm going to stop recording in front of this space again. <laughs> Luckily, I, I uploaded that twist out um, tutorial and that's a wrap we finished our admin day some productive not really productive some productive it was productive, it was productive. It was productive. We, we did a lot so now we're going home to our respective places you know we got our cars and i will see you guys in the next office vibes episode bye, bye. <laughs> i just went to sephora and I got some new products. The guy in the Novato Sephora named Jaren is basically Aaron, but with a J. And um, he's Asian. He put me on to hella recommendations. Like I was standing there at the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter thing because I wanted to try that. And he's like, do you need any help? And then from there, we, he just was put me on, put me on, put me on, shade matching. You can't even see where he put the foundation. Why? Because he was amazing. So if you're in Novato ever, and you want someone amazing who can shade match you, hit up Jaren <laughs> because yeah. I'm so excited. I'm about to go to the office right now to try these products and put them on. And I will see you guys in the office. replanted this remember this into this and I know it doesn't look that much bigger but it was a big difference and the guy says that this grows so damn fast that you should be careful <laughs> so I'm going little by little one size up so that's the progress it looks nice and healthy I think <laughs> and this one is gonna go home now super tiny hi I got some Sephora goodies. I'm in the office. I wanted to show you guys what I got. So, I was going back for my handy dandy 57 foundation brush from Sephora. Turns out it doesn't exist, but they had a number 56. So, we are. It says Pro Foundation Brush. I'm gonna leave all this link for you below because 56, I mean, 57 was my jam. Is it 56? This is not giving the same ones. I think they don't have 57 anymore. Cause the guy was like, huh? And I was like, my favorite one. Oh, it is 56, but it looks smaller and like less tapered. I mean, granted this is dirty, 
you can see why I wanted a new one because I've had this one for like so many years. But I'm like, wait, it's definitely smaller, right? Am I tripping? Like this is not the same brush. But they're both called 56. Like the old one looks a little bit slightly wider and this one looks like it kind of goes like that. Like it looks like it kind of goes like that. This one, on the other hand, looks more flat all the way around. Like this one, I could kind of guess that, oh, maybe I should go at it at this angle, like that. But then I was like, wait, is it 56 or 57? Because I didn't see a 57. So I thought that my brush was a 57, but I get here and it is the 56. They just changed it. So we'll see. And then he said that the 47 brush, which is my other handy dandy. They both are my handy dandy, but my newer one that I had just bought, I closed the door in my car and got crushed. So it's funny that that's the newer one, but yes, the 47. He said, this is really good for liquid foundation too, but I'm gonna try it and see what it's giving. So I got the new 56 brush. Then he said that this is amazing. So I got the travel size version of this so I can try it first, which is the Until Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. And he said that, Jaren said that he was trying to be cute and just go ch -ch -ch -ch. And he was like, mm -mm. what you need to do with this is give it like a good three second continuous just three seconds. So I was like, okay, noted, I'm gonna try that. Then <laughs> he said that this is amazing with another product that I was standing there looking at when I first, first walked into Sephora. He recommended this, which is the one size, turn up the base, versatile foundation powder. And he said that it goes really, 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 really good with the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter, illuminating, whatever. And I've been seeing a lot of my favorite makeup girlies on YouTube and TikTok try this. There's even a dupe for this, so you can get it a lot cheaper, but apparently it's amazing. And I wanna see what it's giving. So I got it and he shade matched me. He shade matched me in both of these. Jaren was amazing. I don't even know where he put what. I can't even see. So I'm hoping that when I apply it, it's gonna be awesome. So I got these two to try because I did run out of my Born This Way Too Faced foundation and I've been using it for years and I love it and it's still my favorite foundation. I just know as a YouTube girly, I need to try more foundations so that I can give you guys more recommendations <laughs> just in case you didn't like Born This Way Too Faced foundation. And then he had recommended me this sheet mask, I guess, that was for depuffing. And I was like, dang, what's crazy is I actually have the opposite problem. I don't have puffy issues. I actually have the opposite where my shit sinks in. <laughs> like it sinks in, like it's a divot right here. So I'd be wanting like plumpness, I guess, not depuffing. Like I need plumpness or like moisture surge. And he was like, oh my God, then you should try this. So he gave me a sample of the Sephora Firming. I can't tell what his handwriting is, but if you guys can read his handwriting, that's the name of the sample. And um, I'm gonna try it because he said that it should <laughs> um, solve my problem. So he put a little bit of it in there. I was like, oh my God, I, I definitely wanna try it because if it's going to not give me the divots, the deepness, you know, then I'll buy it. But I'm done buying eye cream because I don't be noticing a difference. Do you be noticing a difference? Cause if you be noticing a difference, tell me which eye cream you use. <laughs> I don't have a puffiness problem. I have a sunken in problem. So if you have that problem and you have a product that is magically working for you, can you let me know? Cause otherwise I'm not gonna use an eye cream. I will try this until completion to see, but you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no. Um, so yeah, now that that is all said, I purposely left my makeup here in the office so that I would be forced to have my makeup around my camera filming setup, okay? So, I'm gonna do my baby hairs and come back and then do my makeup and my face. Let's get started. I literally, 
I got real good reflexes. Y'all seen what happened with my mirror. I didn't have fast enough reflexes with that, but this, imagine I broke this in my office on my new floor with my new foundation I didn't get to use yet. <sighs> Wanna put this back here, okay? Put all these products back here because nobody had time. <laughs> Anyways, have you noticed when you when, when you be doing your makeup first and then you do your baby hair, don't it be like like weirdly cakey right here? Like, I don't know. I feel like it might be better to do my baby hair before my makeup, which is why you guys haven't been seeing me do baby hairs because my baby hair stuff was here at the office, but my makeup was at the house. So now that they're both here at the same time, I'm going to do my edges first and then do my makeup. Got it? Okay, now I remember my bad. <laughs> Why would I do my baby hairs in private when you probably want to know how I'll be doing my baby hairs? I press record. So I got the best ass controller I done seen recently. I'm like, damn, where was this all my life? So if you don't want no flakiness, you don't want no greasiness, you just want it to give you baby hairs and lay down good, you should get some of this. Cause somebody, um. I think it was Aaliyah J. Aaliyah J had recommended this hell long ago and then it was in my Amazon save for later card. Then I finally got it. And then when I opened it, I thought I got the wrong one because it looked like jam. It, it's, it's giving, like, you know, when you hit the jam and it, it's like that springy effect, it looked like jam. So I was like, dang, I got the wrong one. But I was like, let me just use it. I used it and it was like, oh, I got the right one. <laughs> this, that one. So it's, it's, it's that. I'm gonna leave it linked below. And as you can see, it's freaking huge. So to have an edge control this big with like jam vibes, but it's not jam. Jam is like greasy. This is giving. I was like, wow, okay. So I actually just, you can see what I do. I just like on a clean baby hairbrush or your own personal container. Sorry, I know some hair stuff was on here too, so I got to reiterate certain things. I haven't done my baby hairs in so long, but I'm just gonna get them in. Don't judge how I do my baby hairs. I like them messy and swoopy. So once I comb them forward, I kind of just swoop them. Some people use the comb. Let me try to use the comb. Is that better? Oh no, I think I like the brush better. Is that weird? I think it is weird, but whatever. That'll be like the basis. When I style my hair, I'm gonna hit it with the hot comb on very low heat, if I actually do that. Okay, let's try this makeup. I had this be match for me a long time ago and it was amazing, but then it's been two years and then I tried to do it on my face and I didn't like how that was sitting on me. So I don't know if this is amazing or if it's expired. <laughs> With that being said though, I did have my Born This Way for literally as long as I had this and I just ran out of that and I've been using that almost every day. So I'm confused, like is this bad? Does it have an expiry tendency? Is it like, Oh, I don't know. You let me know. Have you tried this? Cause the shade matches, yeah. But the way it feels on my skin, I don't know. I don't know. All right, so here's the thingy. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, is there directions? Uh, uh, uh. All right, I read the box. So let's see, I don't even. Am I just supposed to like? Yeah. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> it says apply all over the face, but I'm like. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I forgot he did the shade matches for me on this side. Whoopsie. What do they mean all over the face? Do I just do this? What are they blending this in? I should have watched the girl that recommended this on YouTube. I'm gonna use my new 56 brush. I don't even know if I'm using too much, using too little. I don't know, so don't judge. <laughs> all right, let's take the new 56 brush. 
Hopefully I like it as much as the old Fitness Express. So real quick, I ran out of space, but I did um, do these two and I like it. I just, I'm gonna go watch the tutorials real quick and learn. And obviously I have editing to do. So unfortunately we will not be able to finish our makeup today, which is probably good because it felt like a little all over the place. So I'm gonna do a little bit better um, and edit so I can get this off um, my head. Um, but so far I like it. It's giving. I'm gonna leave the link below. This is probably gonna go from the beauty channel to the vlog channel now because there's nothing I can do until I edit. So I'm gonna go edit and um, my bad, I forgot the light. Um, I'm gonna go edit, but yeah, it's giving. I like it a lot. And that's just the pro filter with some one size foundation. I'm in the color medium four, I think. Great, amazing, so far. I just, I wanna do it with the right brush, the, the right brush, the right stuff, do all the right things, but it's giving. <laughs> I could mix this in over and use it by itself, and I like this combo, so bomb bomb collab. That's what I say. I gotta go edit, cause whoa, no space to do anything except for this right here. It's a beautiful day, and I'm here to see the y'all figure yard. It's over. I just recorded a video and I went back home to find screws for my sewing desk in my old house and put it um get back the legs back on. Uploaded a vlog video. I, the pictures kept getting in my way, so I ended up putting them over there. I'm not mad at it. I just put it there for now. I don't really know where I'm what I'm gonna do with them. But I'm about to pack up my laptop and my stuff. Had a productive office day, moved in a lot of stuff. Still have to move in the hair and everything for the series that's coming up. Stay tuned, I will announce it soon. Um, but yeah, it's time to go home. And I'm gonna also still edit at home, even though, you know, I still wanna edit, <laughs> even though we're not at the office. So I will see you guys in 2.5 seconds. I came here early just to see if the sunlight shines in here, and the sunlight shines in here. So I don't know if I'm gonna do with that information, but I'm happy to know that the sunlight shines in here. The only thing is, it's like this much, cause there's like a mountain in front of the window, and then there's sky, but then the roof ends. So like the sun is only here for this gap of time. Let me show you what I'm talking about, cause that was like, what the fuck? You see that right there? Like. There's a mountain out the window, you know? <laughs> so that's how much sunlight I get. But right now in the summer, the sun shines. So I'm wondering if I could uh, take advantage of that in some kind of capacity. Like maybe if I film this way with like a backdrop. Cause right now I have no lighting. <laughs> like that's literally the sunlight coming in. Well, I guess the overhead lighting, but we all know. So yeah, I'm gonna get to work. I literally just came here to see if the sun shines here in the morning, but I did bring my laptop and stuff. So I'm gonna edit a Hot Rollers hair tutorial for you guys. It is early Friday morning and I am here in the office clocking in for my goddamn self. See you later.
Yeah. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm okay, you no, know, I, I put in my 30 day notice. <gasps> no! Yeah, so Why? Back at the office. It's time to water the plants. Let's water. I needed to shoot some B-roll of the office so that the office series has something other than just me. <laughs> um, and with that being said, I'm going to reggae on the river for three days and I need all the space I can get because I'm definitely vlogging that for you guys. Something other than the office series. Um, so I hope you guys are excited for that. I never even heard of reggae on the river until my boyfriend and apparently they used to go every year. Um, so it should be fun. I'm very excited. But with that being said, I have editing to do so that I can free up some space. And just wanted to check in and say, I love you. And thank you so much for watching. Like, thank you for being here. This means so much to me. And I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, I'm gonna go edit now. Love you. Bye.